So what we've been listening to, the song that we've been listening to, um reminded me of something, right? Um, like as you guys heard, it says like sunny days are just as good as rainy days. Like oh, rainy days are just as good as sunny days, right? So this reminded me of something I thought maybe I could share with you guys. So there is this um thing or this theme or this framework or this mental what what if you want to call it that way, right? So the thing about people or the thing about humans in general, right, is that they they place their happiness based on money. You understand what I mean? So like monetary gains dictate how they behave, right? So you know that in most cases, you know, there are certain guys that are happy month end, right? Month end when they get paid, they are happy. You know, they're very joyful. Like they have, they are lively. Right. But as the month continues to progress, it's like the more rent or the more dollar they spend, the less happier they become. Do you guys get it? You guys get what I'm saying? It's like there's a square thing through your screen. Which one? Square thing. Oh, guys, can you please turn off your cameras? Because I think it's the cameras, right? The square thing, the square thing, I think it's the cameras, right? Can you please turn off your cameras? I don't know. Like, I think that is the one that you guys are talking about, right? The square thing. What is the square thing on my, on my thing? I think you guys are talking about camera. Uh, hide video panel. Okay. Is it gone? Is it gone? I think it should be gone, right? No sound. Guys, I think you can hear the sound. I, I, I'm I legitly looking at the, the icon that shows microphone. It shows that you guys are, you can hear me properly. So I think you need to check your sound, right? So um, what I'm saying, is everything okay now? The square thing is gone, right? So we're clear, we're okay. Right. So what I'm saying is that like in most cases, people, they behave, their behavior or their, their enthusiasm is based on monetary. Right. So this is something that we have seen even in like real life. You see people like when they are paid. So that when, when, when they are paid, they is that, oh man, yo, no, they lovely, they lively, they happy. Yeah, man, we're doing this here. Yeah, we're going, you know, there's, there's an element of happiness. You know, that's why even in relationships, when there is money involved, like there is that uh, happiness. But once the money is dwindling, the, the relationship starts to suffer a bit. It's only nice when the money is there, right? Yes, it's normal that way, right? But it's sometimes those things, I think like they're based on where we attach our happiness, where we attach our value, right? So if your attachment... um. Or when we attach our happiness, guys, uh, I see, I see who is Xiao, Xiaomi, 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 is it, what, what is Xiaomi? I think, is it a phone? Yeah, man, just uh, fix that Xiaomi thing there. Um, For those that are new for to this, guys, um, on Zoom, can you please put in your full name and say name? Like your full name and surname. Don't do mamang sniper or what what. Your full name and surname. That I am um or your full name and last name. I require that because like how I stored you on um Telegram. I stored you based on your full name and surname. There is no mamang what what. I I know you by name. So if I see something that I don't recognize, I will remove you. Right now we're still doing intros, nyan. But next time I will remove you like clean. And once I ban you, I make sure that next time you don't even enter as well. So, okay. Now, where was I? I was talking about the fact that like attachment of happiness is based on monetary things, things of the physical, right? I don't want to come off as a preacher or anything, but I think like sometimes you have to check your heart. 
right? You have to check your heart. What is it that occupies your heart? What occupies your heart? What holds the highest prestige within your life, right? And that itself, you have to know, like for me, for me, like I told you guys, like means while you guys are within the team, this team, this team, though I would, uh, it's our team. Right now, I want to use the term my team. I know that it's not mine alone, it's ours, right? But for me, the what I hold to the utmost, the prestige, the higher level, it's God, right? That means that what's occupying my heart, whether I lack or I have, at the end of the day, that's who occupies, what occupies. So that itself has freed me from a lot of things. It has freed me from the sense of greed, the sense of exploiting, the sense of trying to, like it frees me from a lot of things, but troubles, they always come. There's always problems. There's always things that are going to be challenging within your life. There's going to be the point where you lack. There's going to be a point where you have more. You understand? There's going to be a, a season of abundance and a season of lack. But throughout those seasons that you are facing, who occupies your heart, it will determine how you carry yourself through those tough times, right? I know that right now, when we start the Zooms, sometimes it cannot always be Forex, Forex. Sometimes we have to talk as adults, right? So one thing I want you to do uh, today after the Zooms, like I want you to just kind of like check what occupies your heart, you know? Because they say that, like it says, I know the love of money is the root of all evil. The love, the, the, the core concept is love. The thing that you love is the thing that controls your life. You understand that what you love dictates how you move. If you love money, you're going to move on ways that require you to get that thing. Yes, money is there. Money is a necessity. But love is a different type of thing. You understand? So let's do that as well, right? So this also brings me back to, right now as I'm, I'm, I'm getting into it. So this brings me back to this situation, right? We are faced with difficult situations, right? Sometimes when you're looking at it, your trading career is going very well, extremely well. Oh, yo, I'm doing well. I'm, I'm getting this money. But that's the thing. For every, there is always a cost to everything. A cost for abundance, the cost of getting more and more and more. What the cost of that is, is that it comes with consequences, there is a certain element of ego, a certain element of invincibility, a certain element of like, ah, I got this, a certain element of I know, you know, once you reach the certain element where the, the certain level where you're like, oh, I know this thing, ah, this is easy. That thing itself now becomes, it creeps in bit by bit, bit by bit, bit by bit to a point where now here is this guy building an account one dollar at a time. Okay, you got to a thousand dollars. All right, now everything is moving swiftly, right? Each trade that you place, it's playing along the things that you like. It's doing what you like. Oh, okay, I'm in profit. All right, I think I got this figured out, right? But now the thing about ego is that it judge it it clouds your judgment. You are in a position. You are in a vulnerable state. It clouds your judgment. Oh, okay, now that I'm you know, placing all these trades, making all this money, you know, you start even going on, uh, 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 you're going on property 24, you're looking for houses. Oh man, ish, ah, this money, the weight's coming in. So you go there, you start seeing all these materialistic things that cost more than what your account is. Like the rate in which your account is growing at, it does not match the vision that you have on getting that car. Oh, I want that car. It does not match it. So what do you do? The ego tells you that, but I'm doing well. And you see someone within the group, he sends uh, a screenshot of like profits that are running. He over leveraged. There's this too much over leveraging. He's like, no, but this guy just entered the team now, now, and I've been in the team for quite some time. Why don't I increase the lot size? Why don't I, you know, I'm like, I'm, on, I'm already on, on $2,000. Let me, Bump it up, nyan, at least I can get to 10K faster. Nyan. You see, you want to get to that level at a faster rate. 
This is where the element of egotism, but your egotistical, it comes and plays a huge role. And for each and every dollar you lose, there is an element of, I have to get that two times. I lost $500, I must make a thousand. So you start doing that, doing that until your account dwindles and you reach a state where you say, I, you know what, sorry for the language, but F this, let me go all in. You go all in, your account, a better top. So better top meaning that like you blow out your engine, better casket. Eh? The speedometer is finished. You remember more, uh, more when he was telling his dad, Papa, this one, I, the speedometer is finished. No, he was telling the guy who came to bring the the, the car when his dad was go, was left. The speedometer is finished. This is kaput. It's finished. You know. <laughs> so what occurs is that now you you throw everything in. You blow your account. Remember, sunny days. That's the initial part. You had sunny days. It was too bright. Your future. You needed sunglasses. Couldn't, it's too bright. You needed sunglasses, man. You know, hey, you needed sunglasses because it was too bright. Now it's too dark. The sunglasses are even making it darker. So now you are in rainy days. You are in tough times. Whew, what am I going to do? What are you going to do? So this is something that I see more often. Yes, you have made mistakes. Yes, you have seen those things you got into that instead of you trying to rectify those mistakes guess what you do you take a step back from trading so that you can gather the strength no man we work through this thing even though you are having tough times even though you are struggling oh you're going through all these things within your life all these events are occurring all these things are occurring you continue to work you continue to push through your pain everything work This this will show a reflection of whether you do love being in this field or you don't. Right now, let me tell you something. When your salary is finished, you still have to go to work. You have no choice. But because now this is trading, what do you do? Once the money is finished, what do you do? You just chill and wait for the next uh, thing to fund. And then now you start being active. Hello, family within the team. You start commenting good morning because now your account is funded. But when your account was low, you, you, the energy, where is that energy? Where is that energy when, when you're struggling? Where is that energy when you're hitting the stop loss? Where is that energy? There is, well, that energy is kaput. It's finished. Because you do not love what you are doing. You're not, in, in, you're not invested in this thing. You've invested under, you know, the premise that, I have this thing, now I want to grow this thing. That's when you start showing, uh, oh, I love this thing, man. Trading is the best. What? A, no, trading should be the best throughout. When you are going to work, I'm telling you right now, if, like right now, you got paid on the 25th, some got paid on the 31st, right? I'm telling even if the money gets finished by the 15th, you would rather borrow and continue to go to work. Though I do not advise people to borrow money, but I'm just saying, you will find means to continue going to work until your next payday. But here, but here, you hit a stop loss. You do this, oh no, this thing. You disappear from the team. You're quiet. It's like, it's like, it's like we, 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 we it's like Rukubi, it's like we chased you out. Come back up. Some people come back after a year, hey, mentor, hey, how do I pay for the new platform? Right, you're gone for a year. And some people, like, they only come, you know, people are like, hey, let me go back to the team because they see me posting the team's results on Instagram and Twitter. Now they want to come back. Hey, what am I missing? Hey, what, what? No. The only thing is that, the only thing that it's, an a, a, like, you can say that, you can be grateful of is that I do not like you can be grateful that I how can I put it I'm not a difficult person to deal with like I'm not a, a person who like oh I don't know like even if you come after a year I'll just welcome you I'm, I'm not even gonna ask too many questions what what no I'm just a like I can say maybe forgiving I don't know but I'm maybe soft you understand what I mean? So, but like, 
That's how it is. So the seriousness of this thing, it's very important. Whether you have or you don't have, there must be intentionality behind this thing. There must be, I need to do this. I need to get understand. I need to, I need to improve. There must be a need, a sense of purpose within this field. It can't just be, oh, no, when I have money, I do. When I don't, I don't. Oh, this, no, you don't do that. And I think that right now we are old enough and mature enough to understand that like life, it, it's not easy. You get the crookeds with the straights. You get the, the good with the bad. That's it. That's why the Bible says that like, let me not go too deep, but in the Bible it says that the land, even the video I did send it, the land that we are working on, it's cursed. It's a cursed land, meaning that you as a man, you go into labor to survive. You go into work to survive. There is no a sense of stability in each life. Every person has those tough times. There is no sense of stability of like, oh, life is smooth sailing. Life is never smooth sailing. Even rich people, they have their own issues. Doesn't mean that when you have money, the problems, they disappear. Problems don't disappear. Problems are constant. There's the constant element of problems. There's always something that's going to come. Oh no, I've been dealing with these things. Yes, we deal with everything. For me, I had multiple funerals at home. I had things that I had to prepare. I had all these difficult things that were occurring, but I continue to work. It's not because of the fact that, oh no, I understand that problems they don't finish. Problem, they never end. There's always something that's going to occur. You understand? Life is, it's, it's, it's the same as a, life eternally, how can I put it? But those that have owned second-hand BMW, that's how life is. Life, it's a second-hand BMW. You fix till you die. There's always something that's always. That's what I can tell you. If you don't, if if you don't, if you've never just ask a person who owns a second and BMW or just look at them. There's always fixing, they're always fixing something. Something, always, there's never a break. That's how life is. So we have to work on this too. That's why like the, the element of being in a team is very important because when you're feeling low, you need this thing. We need to inject you with a sense of purpose, with a sense of I can do this. That's why engagement within the team, when you interact with people, it gives you that I can do this. I've learned this from B, like at high school. I've learned this at high school. In high school, I associated my like myself, like that's how I was. I associated myself with people that were excelling. And you excel with them. Each and every person has their, their thing. Like for me, I was good at physics. I was good at mathematics. You know, I sucked at accounting. But there's someone who's good at accounting. But when they are they are the way they're good at accounting, it affected me because I I I, I was doing well. If the person gets woman 200 and something on a 300 page, I'm there playing around 280 something. I'm there playing around 192 something like below, but I'm not that far uh, from him. But before that person, I was doing lower, lower numbers. You understand what I mean, guys? Who you associate? And what I've seen is that guys that were actually struggling they were not even in the top 10, like at high school. These guys, what they did is that when they started hanging out with us, these guys were excelling as well. By Like it's excelling by association because you adopt how people behave. When we do, uh, uh, let's, let's, let's stay uh, 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 like after school, let's stay nyana and do this homework. These guys are there with us and they start excelling as well by associations because you start behaving like them. You guys get what I'm saying, right? But I'm not trying to preach or anything, but the, there's a certain mental framework that goes with being uh, involved. When you are involved, you start behaving alike with those people. Mentally, in, like everything starts to show or you mimic one another as you continue to move. That's how we want this to be. So today, I think that one, 
Okay, let's just let's let's continue. But that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I think the song just made me tell you all these things. Oh, let's get to the business. Okay. Now we're in this scenario. Hey, 